Hello friends, hope all of you fine. Welcome to CADCAM CA tutorials. In this video, we will design these parts. Friends, if you are not subscribed channel, please subscribe channel to get all latest videos and to motivate us. Okay. So while designing this part, we will use you will use the revolve command or shaft command. Okay. So for that purposes, we will draw this half portion and we will make this uh, revolve it by using the shaft command check the dimensions this with considering boss the total dimension is 30 without boss 25 diameter is 70 and this is r10 and thickness is 7 so click on this sketch click on this plane and click on the profile and draw it give the dimensions height is 25 so just double click it and give it 25 and horizontal is 35 click on the constraint this to this face this 35 Again, click on this profile. Okay, and just again double click on this constraint, give this dimensions. This is 3 mm thickness, is 3 mm. Just double click on it, give it 3. Again, click on it and give it 3 mm. Again, click on the corner and this is R10 here also there is one corner both are of 10 mm give it 10 here also just double click on it and give it 10 yeah okay and we'll revolve this so click on this exit workbench and click on this shaft command and give the center or either here also just click on the axis or the right here also right just right click it and we have to rotate or we have to shaft it against it z axis click on z axis and click on ok so we have designed uh, this next is so next we will uh, make this slot slots there are total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 slots initially we will make and then we will uh, rectangle use the rectangle pattern command okay so the dimension is so overall is 40 width is 3.5 and there is arc on both side and pcd is 6 so like this so again click on this sketch click on this face click on this center rectangle give the center and draw it give these dimensions just double click on it total is 40 just double click on it give it 40 and this is 3.5 just double click on it 3.5 and click on the circle here also circle trim unwanted sketch double click on it we don't want this we yes yes and we don't want this also okay and now uh, there is only one uh, tangency on only one side other side is deleted so give the tangency select this press control select this go to the constant defining dialog box and make it tangency okay and give it center distance so it will get constraint so click on this constraint this center to this axis 20 so it will constraint same thing do on other side so click on the circle give the center and give here delete unwanted things by using the quick trim just double click on quick trim and we don't want this line yes yeah here also tangency is only one on one side so for this side we will uh, add tangency 
so select the circle press control select this line click on constant dependent dialog box make it tangency click on ok and here also same we will give the dimension with origin so it will get constraint so for that purposes click on constraint and this point to this axis 20 so click on exit and give it pocket click on ok ok so now we will pattern this so for that purposes click on pattern and give the reference so we have this reference and we want 4 and if you observe here pitch is 6 mm so 6 mm pitch reverse okay yeah so like this again we will select this pattern so pocket and we will uh, make it pattern on this side we have only one we have made on one side we will make now on other side so click on this rectangular pattern give this reference this reference and click this okay so like that we have designed it okay so next we have designed the post next we will uh, design this part so if you observe here thickness is 5 and it is on on base and dimension is gear is given here so pcd on pcd 85 and what is the major r it is r8 okay so just click on this sketch give this space because this sketch is on base base and just click on normal so it will get normal okay so we will take the reference of this uh, uh, circle also just click on this project 3d element and give this circle so it will get project and next is this is 85 so this is a reference or construction circle we need to draw so click on circle give the center click here and this is construction element so just click on it and convert into the construction of standard element okay now click on this constraint and give its dimension 85 it is of 85 just double click on it and give it 85 yeah okay so just again of this construction element okay next uh, we'll draw the larger arc here of 8 so for that purposes click on this axis give center and draw an axis so that will be our reference and go to the circle and draw one circle here of r8 click on constraint to give the dimensions so it is of diameter 8 okay diameter 8 and we will match these lines so click on this profile and draw one horizontal to this horizontal line and just mirror on this side select this click on the mirror and select this okay so just double click on quick tree and uh, trim this unwanted line select this select this select this line select this line zoom it and this line also this line also okay we don't want this outer we want only inside the circle so trim this outside also so now if you observe we have a closed loop okay yeah there is only tangency on only one side other side is deleted so we will give the tangency so select this press control select this and constant depend all above make it tangency okay and we'll check it's where it's moving yeah control z why this is moving because uh, this line is uh, geometry vertical is deleted so select this go to the constant dependent dialog box make it vertical and now it will be 
full constraint so click on this exit workbench it is of five yeah oh it is open because if you observe here this black point indicates that our sketch is open so just double click on it to change this diagram or here go to the on sketch and double click on it so and just to zoom it yeah if you observe here this is open so again click on this quick trim and delete this here also just click on the quick trim and delete this yeah now go to the exit workbench and it is of five so click on this pad and reverse direction and give it five okay and just to make this pattern how much it is we want three so just click on this pad and go to the circular pattern click on the circular pattern and give this reference we want on this face so give this reference and here instead of instance and angular facing complete crown and we want 23 on complete crown so preview click on ok so like that ok so next we will see what is the remaining now we have a whole of uh, how much it is inside hole is 5 8 so go to the hole click on this face click on positioning sketch and select this point press control select this click on constant defining dialog box and make it concentricity and click on ok again click on exit workbench and diameter is 8 and we want up to last ok ok one hole we have made we just will make it circular pattern so for that purpose select this hole and click on the circular pattern and reference element give this reference and here also yeah yeah this we want on this face yeah and three instance and one twenty angle so like that okay okay like that we have made this next is we will design this boss top boss is remaining and inside is uh, 15 and outside is 25 and the height is 5 means this top to this bottom base so this is 5 and plus this 3 8 okay so this is 30 minus 25 that will be 5 and plus this thickness means it is 8 so just take one plane and from bottom to top so click on this plane select this face and reverse direction 30 click on 30 and click on this sketch click on this plane okay so outside is 25 outside is 25 just double click on it diameter we have known so it is of 25 and inside of 15 inside is 15 double click on it and it is 15 and make it exit and it is of 8 mm, 8 mm depth so click on this pad and reverse direction and this is 8 mm and click on ok so like that we have designed uh, these parts ok friends thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe please subscribe the channel to get all latest videos thank you